Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I am playing Mana Lords, I am World Dragon, and you are watching World Dragon Media, that's right, my own media channel. Who would have thought? You can start one on YouTube yourself. You press play, you start recording, and you act like an idiot for the people. And uh, then you know, hey, some people stick around, some people don't. Now, after all of that, I've completely lost track. I mean, I feel like I should be holding a skull and quoting Shakespeare at this point. But, uh, like I said, we are playing Manor Lords. We are... We're coming to the end of this playthrough. That's because a beta patch has been released, which I really want to jump onto. Uh, rather largely for the inter-region trade, which greatly, greatly does interest me. But before we end this one, I am potentially going to see if I can even sweep the map of the wonderful Von Karlsburg. And so, to that effect, we, uh... Yeah, we need to uh, we need to go and, and do a few things. So the first thing we need to go and do is my army. Uh, no, we're only up to thirty three and thirty three. My pole arm creator is approval will will fall. That's nice. You you can hate me. Just build me some things, will you? What do you actually need to uh, planks and iron slabs? Are we short on iron slabs? Are we struggling for that? We are actually struggling for iron slabs. Let's have a second guy in there. That could be why that's taking a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and hit fast forward. And hopefully that slightly corrects itself. And hopefully with that correction. What we are going to go and do is... I don't want to go and pause my helmet maker because he's the only thing making me gold. Not very much gold, mind you. But he's making me a bit of gold. In fact, I should probably... Yes. Go to no trade. And then let's actually pause you briefly. Hold with me just a second, please, sir. And that will help me get a few more iron slabs. So let's go to I'm on minus one ale. Wow, I don't know how that quite works. Someone drank so much I went into negative ale. And gonna stick another guy in the iron mine. Oh, the berries are back. I didn't... I could have sworn I took everybody off my berries. Maybe I put everyone on my berries. I don't know. Things got so confusing last episode, folks. The game went a little bit glitchy and sideways. Um, but it's okay. We are we are getting... There you go. Pole arms are coming out. That's much better. 36 on 35. We will... What trades do I have in terms of weapons? I think I have pole arms. No, I don't. What did I get? Helmets and small shields I apparently have. That being the case, uh, I could start making some more small shields. Now, aha, we have one pole arm. So I will... I will let myself get a couple more than one. Just so I have a couple of spares, you know what I mean? Let's be honest. People are... I don't think... I feel like a few people aren't going to go and make it. We'll get a few more than that. And once that keeps going up ever so slightly, I mean, I've got 58 families, so I don't need to worry too much about my approval. And to get to the next level, I, in essence, need to get six more burger spots to level two, because then I need to get six of those to level three. So on that, how much logs do I have? Plenty. Let's go. And... Upgrade. He's five. To level two. Of course, I could have also started with these ones because they're all not level two either. But uh, hey ho. Requirements not met. Yes, I need a tavern supply. To get tavern supply, I need ale. To get ale, I need barley. To get barley, I need fields that actually grow something. Um, which, trust me, isn't isn't a lot. Uh, as you can see, my fertility is dropping down quite low. Oh, I'm actually getting... Am I actually getting some flax? I mean, probably not, but <laughs> you never know. I've got so much... In fact, can I sell yarn? How much will it take to get a thing for yarn? 120. Just a little bit. Now, I can sell that for one. That's not worth it. Yarn at four. That's okay. Uh, berries at 115. Let's take one off you. Let's put one on the dice. I really do wish on this on the advanced you could you could 
tell him to be like, no, don't go below or don't have more than 20 die. Um, I do actually need to get some dies though because I am not going to be producing any... Oh, I've got 98 cloaks though. I've, I've got a few. Oh, can I sell some cloaks? Um, commodities, cloaks. They sell for 8. They do cost... That will cost me 240. It's, uh, it's expensive stuff, folks. It's expensive stuff. Now, I am going to put one more in this to get plate. However, that does leave me one. Which means that a trade route always costs a maximum of 25. Once again, that has been changed on the beta patch. Which, uh, as I keep saying, I really, 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 really uh, want to get and play. That's why I said, I've said uh, since the beginning, uh, I said at the beginning of this episode anyway, that this is kind of coming towards an end. Because, um, yeah, like I said, it's kind of getting to that stage. Right, there's a lot of upgrading to level 2s going on. That means there'll be a bit more money coming in, quite frankly. Which means, hey, I can go get another retinue. So we're just going to go and do a bit more upgrading. Hire another men at arms. Let's sort out your colours. It's going to be red. Done. We're always red and green, folks. Always red and green. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this a little bit more off camera. And when we come back, we will raise that militia and go and conquer some regions. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There's been a lot of fast forwarding. Uh, I've been, I'm not going to lie, playing around with a few things, struggling with a few others. Uh, Realising I've made some mistakes. But it's okay. Because it's all learning. And it will be better for the next playthrough of that, I do promise you. However, we are going to finish off this playthrough. I'm going to go uh, do some claiming. I'm going to look at this a bit and uh, let's claim with influence. Yes, let's press a claim towards this region. We are claiming. Now, of course, the question is... Is he going to go and challenge me? <gasps> the gauntlet has been thrown. Now, what do I have? 60, 100. No, I'm probably pretty close to my limit on militia. The gauntlet has been thrown. Where is said gauntlet? Oh, it's in these trees somewhere. Okay, then. So let's... Oh, wait, yeah. He's at the back here. He's got... Oh, wow. He's got a 36 size retinue, some bandits, which I'm not too worried about, some archers, they don't really like, and a couple of light mercenary infantrymen. Now I do not like the retinue of 36 people, that uh, is disgusting. And so what that means is, uh, no, let's go to the army. What the mercenary, no more mercenary companies available this month. Well, that's uh, somewhat Devastating. Um, okay, we do have... I have only 10 more recruits available. That's uh, not great. Ooh, I don't know if I can actually do this with what I have. I mean, his small arms can probably take out two of my militia. His retinue very much outsizes mine. And... I mean, my pole arms will be able to take out the bandits. And then, of course, we've got those uh, those archers, which are the problem. And I've definitely got enough pole arms to create another pole arm unit. I just don't have the men. Hmm. Interesting. Can we, uh, can we get some more mercenary companies, please? Oh, what's this? King's favor is on a minus one. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Annual royal tax to be paid. There is nothing as of yet. Hmm. How's our tavern doing? We've uh we're kind of struggling for beer. Oh no, we've got seven ale. We do have ale to be had. However, the supply is not great. I tell you it is not great at all. Uh, and of course as well, it depends on how well is. Okay, it looks like he's actually coming to attack me. Interesting. Let us... I'm gonna have to come and get the army out now.
And I don't really know. I mean, is it, do I just attempt to... Just kind of beat them from the front and, you know, almost take them out one by one? Or... You know, and hope that my my mob can outdo his mob. I mean, if I'm going to... It looks like he's going to come all the way to my territory, which is quite interesting. Because that will give me home advantage. Which is... Definitely walk. Although my... Yeah, these have got a long guys have got a long way to walk. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> those guys don't seem to have quite such a long way to walk. Uh, so I want, in essence, my spearman at the front. I mean, do, do I just attempt to long line train this? <laughs> Only two toes left, ladies and gentlemen. Only two toes left. Okay, I do have a little bit of experience, which does help. Uh... I can't customize this anymore. Nope. Maybe I should have upped the armor on a couple of them before we got started. Now, if the tavern can, uh, can keep going. Now, I have a feeling this it won't fully upgrade properly. I have a feeling I need to upgrade a few of the ones that have big open backyards so we can... Uh, actually get the oxen in there. <laughs> How far away are you guys? Okay, you're halfway through my village. Are these guys... Okay, no, they've stopped. Interesting. Now, it's alright. We've got 82 days remaining. Let's wait for... Let's wait for my retinue to get there. Like I said, we've got time. We're, we're okay. We've got 82 days. And we shall see what we can do. Now, hey, you never know. Maybe. Just. Maybe. Some uh, mercenaries will pop up. Although they'll probably be so far away at this point. That it won't really matter. That's right. Yeah, march in a lovely long line. We're, we're, like I said, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play train, and we're gonna see what we can do. Because if we can, in essence, attack them from the front, then all we have to necessarily do is take them out one by one. I mean, if I can, then almost make a U, and in essence, you know, just crush the front unit from three sides. Maybe sneak my spearman round the back for the light mercenary archers. Oh, the battle begins. They are okay. They're actually making some form of a formation. Interesting. How are we doing? We're, we're slow marching. We are slow marching. That is all fine. How is he doing? Okay, archers out front. The, the brigands, they're just off for a wander. Do we have any mercenaries yet? No. Hey, brigands are, brigands are going for a wide run. We'll keep an eye on those. And then we've got his retinue and his two light mercenary infantry coming to attack. Now, spearmen are forward, which is how we want it. Because they have really big shields. So, that's the hope. <laughs> that we absorb some damage with the really big shields. Now, this as well is with the archer damage still down at 40%. As this... Well, at least I think it is, because it's... I assume it's just on the beta patch where it's the upgrade is... Um, up higher. And I'm longer in home territory. Not good. Surrounded by trees. I didn't think that would have a negative. Have you come down and take... That's not a problem with... 
from around the sides, it does mean that his archers will get to open up on me. Let's see if I can't take out those archers, shall we? Go on, chase them down. Go on, retinue. Look at the speed of them. Okay, I've got their archers in melee. That is fantastic. Hopefully if I can get rid of them fast, I can turn around and hit the base of these guys. We, uh... It's not going great. The spearmen are getting hit quite hard. Their brigands, on the other hand, are also being hit quite hard by my pole arms. And their archers should also be starting to melt. Uh, although my spearmen are... Yes, ideally standing ground. You guys, yeah, you guys are want pushing in. Ah, oh, we are nicely taking out their men as well, though. I think we're doing okay. I mean, considering the fact that they outnumber us here, we'll get our pole arms round in a second. Yeah, no time to celebrate quite yet. Let's have you up here. Double speed, double speed. I need you to take out these guys. Wow, I actually lost a couple of my retinue guys to the archers. That's uh, interesting. Let's get you guys around the back. Yeah, my guys are fine against the archers. Charge into the back. Okay, we've got them surrounded on three sides. That's got to be doing a lot of damage. And I think it is. Their morale is plummeting. Okay, we came into the fight outnumbered. Uh, their mercenary archers are actually not doing bad against my retinue. I started on... I don't know, quite a lot, actually. Their effectiveness is 1%, but they're actually holding their own against me. Quite nicely. Well, hey, they broke. Their general people... There you go, they've broken. They have broken, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We went in very badly outnumbered. Um, let's just have you guys run back. But we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed to take that second region. And we have managed to do a fantastic job of doing so. We did lose quite a lot of people. We did lose quite a lot of people. Everybody can disband. Everybody can go back to their homes. Wives can remarry so my militia can all repopulate. Of course it will as well take a fair bit of equipment to replenish everybody. But that wouldn't be a problem. We have plenty of... We've got, definitely got plenty of pole arms to go around. We have plenty of male armor to go around as well. We could do with some small more spears. That's not a problem. We also have quite a few large shields spare. So replenishing my people would not be a problem whatsoever. All we would have to do now is, in essence, pay a time to be able to get more influence and slowly take all of these regions one by one. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after that rather hero... Uh, uh, um, sorry, uh, uh, what now? Oh, is he is he wanting round two, is he? Where do you think you're going, my friends? He's, he is. He's, he's coming to burn me down. Well, I'll be damned. How are we doing on this army replenishment? Uh, not great, if I'm perfectly honest. Not great at all. Uh, we're kind of low on recruits. Uh, yeah, no, like I said, I think he's... Uh, we're all light mercenary archers. Now, I... Yep, I apparently don't have access to any mercenaries. But uh, there you go. But anyway, like I was saying, I am going to go and leave it there. I might just do a quick fight of this battle. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to jump onto the beta patch. We are basically going to end up restarting, but on, like I said, the beta patch. Because I really, really want to play a game with inter-region trade 
more developed because I could go and sit into this region, get a beautiful farming region set up without really being able to export the barley and the flax back to my starting town. I almost just, however it sounds, I almost don't see what the point is because that's the only reason I really want to go there, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so yeah, on that, uh, let's go and rally my troops once again. Because uh, he's, he's coming back for another round, it seems. Now, Blacksmith, did I not just tell you? Yep, to change to Spears. Okay, you are changing to Spears. We don't have any available, but then we don't have the people to wield them anyway. We... Wow, we're actually down on 59 families. We've got some living space left. We have some living space. But, uh... Men. I'm actually going to get you to, uh... Just come and stand here, quite frankly. Uh... Actually come back here. Okay, I don't actually... Yes, all of you gather together. <laughs> group up, lads, group up! And then get into those archers. Oh, they've disappeared ever so slightly. Don't run, don't run, save yourself. We'll, uh, we'll put you on don't run as well. Oh! I don't know if I can actually... I don't know if they're actually attacking me. I mean, I don't know where they're going. We don't have... any mercenary camps. I don't think we're actually in a fight. We're not. We're not actually in a fight, so... You guys can actually be disbanded. They're not coming to kill me. They're just, uh... They're just... Weirdly wandering through my land. You know, yeah, why Why wouldn't you want over a hundred foreign soldiers just taking a stroll through your fields? Um, but like I said, so, well, I guess we're not going to see if we can win that fight. It could have been another fun one. We are, like I said, we're going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all very much for joining from this playthrough. Like I said, do not worry. There is another playthrough. Well, I would say planned, but by the time this episode comes out, ladies and gentlemen, the other playthrough is probably already being released on YouTube. So you're probably, well, or even hopefully I would say, watching them side by side. And hopefully in that one, we are doing a much more beautiful job of, well, sorting out our village. I mean, I really did try, I'm not going to lie, folks, to get it all, uh, all aesthetic. And at the beginning, you know, I think I did quite well, but I just, you know, like all of this, much too close to town. This stone church and this pasture, sorry, and this marketplace should be the center. But they've now become relegated to the side of what actually became my town area. These guys should all be here. And these burgers plots should be out here. Um, so yeah, so I just did terrible town planning. I, I do apologize for that. It's uh, But no, on the set next one, which hopefully, like I said, it's it should be coming at the same time. Hopefully you're watching that as well. Hopefully, uh, hope, hopefully you're enjoying, more to the point. And... Uh, Hopefully you will be, uh... You will, like I said, you will be enjoying that as well. Now we have a Burgess level 3 plot under construction. Ah, it's just missing a couple of planks and a couple of... Do I even have roof tiles? Yeah, I do. It's just missing a couple of planks and a couple of roof tiles. Hasn't bugged out the same way as the others. It is still okay. And... Tithe paid. Goods given away. That got us a little bit of inventory. Only 27 food. That's not a lot of, at all, really. I suppose, of course, it's 10%. All of those vegetables. That proves the power of vegetables, everybody. They all say it on Discord. Take your vegetables. They're good for you. And uh, that just goes and proves it. So like I said anyway, which I've mumbled and blundered and talked far too much for the ending and episode. Thank you all very much for joining me. Please do keep watching the other series, which, like I said, should hopefully be going on concurrently on YouTube the same time as this one is ending. And until next time, wherever you join me, as per always, stay safe, stay happy, and stay healthy.